Hi and welcome to another episode of I highly doubt the camera angle is going to get better anytime soon. If you hear drilling in the background it's because there's drilling in the background. They've been doing it for days. It doesn't seem as though they have any, any intention of stopping. Today I got myself a Scandinavian treat. Uh, this cream custard filled bun is a, is a thing we we eat around here in well in the the winter months it sort of goes hand in hand with with an annual celebration of something uh, <clears throat> it's it's basically halloween but the the pg version children and no just mostly children dress up as something and then they partake in an event that translated is beating the cat out of the barrel now i'm not going to get into that but <clears throat> i do want to make it very clear i have not beaten any cat with a bat at any point in my life intentionally this bun comes from a bakery called Mayers. Actually, it came in this little fuck, which is rather cute. I, you know, hey, I'll give them points for wrapping. It's a very common thing to to eat around here. Maybe I should just fucking show the thing. Very common uh, thing for for Danes to eat uh, at this time of year. Typically, it's during the winter months it's filled with with custard uh, vanilla custard uh, is the traditional mm, although there are there are quite a few variants now what what a lot of these buns have in common is that they're very fatty and and that will be something i'm, I'm going to score it on is it too fatty because they can be it, do you get nauseous after eating it Mm, they're typically filled with jam. Now, a lot of the people I know would probably tell you that I'm a little bit of a sick fuck in that I, I like a lot of fatty things. For example, I can easily drink milk that contains, I don't know, four, four and a half percent fat. You know, I'll, I'll drink it as though it was the purest of cum and down the hatch. <clears throat> so, so that's typically not that much of an issue. Uh, suppose typically it's it's raspberry jam that they stuff in there, but I believe this time it's with with prunes. Mm, I haven't tried that yet. I'm excited to do so. It, it seems as though that's sort of Myers take. It ugh, fucking translate, you know. Pronouncing a name in an other language is sometimes retarded and, and makes it sound ridiculous. I'm just going to call it Myers. It seems that's their sort of take on the on the thing, doing it with prunes. It normally be uh, strawberry or raspberry. I think I probably have to cut it. You know, it's not that I'm considerably civilized in my day to day life. But stuffing my face in a bun filled with custard it might not be the way to, to go here. I'm, I'm excited about this. I've, I've been told good things. Typically, there'd be some, some chocolate on top here. I've taken notice. Uh, there, is, there is none in this instance. I will probably be, be rating this, uh, you know, factoring in a, a few things. Mm, probably how how crisp the the bun is or how flaky it is puff pastry after all now there's a difference in in it being dry and flaky where if it's dry that typically means it's just been lying around for quite a while and it, it becomes rather bland and then 
obviously the flavor of the custard is it you know can you taste the vanilla is it is it a good texture mm. <clears throat> and and is it too fatty and also the jam is that you know have they fucked that up massively i certainly hope not it's the first time i'm uh, eating one of these this year i believe no it's not I had one from hot hot bakery that's my favorite one and that was where the cheesecake came from let's dig the fuck into this because i'm just babbling on here all right i'm <laughs> massacring this fu gee fucking sis there is a lot of well, there's this jam and it looks smells fucking great i'll Say that instantly. Let me just stuff my face. I will openly admit that throughout my life, I have watched myself many a time. Whether that be in the mirror or on the screen of my phone as I take my picture of the day. But never have I felt it was as grotesque as the moment I decided to slurp down this thing. Damn son. Yeah, all right. I'm going to eat a little more. Mm. Mm. By the way, I recorded an other video tasting a, a cardamom bun, which got fucked by the YouTube algorithm. I don't know what they have against cardamom bun, buns, but Apparently, that shouldn't be a thing that existed. I'll link to it. Just a little taste this time. A little more. All right, the verdict. As you can see, I've, I've been doing my worst here. <clears throat> Deflated it quite a, quite a bit. Let's start with the bun. The bun is rather good. It could have been a little more flaky, but it's not dry and it's not and tasting written weird, you know, it's it's what you want it to be. That's fine. The custard is very creamy. It's not too fatty. It's is actually rather enjoyable. It could have, you know, they could have put more vanilla in there and I wouldn't have complained. But the, the jam here, the prune jam, does something with the custard. They sort of dance together and, and create this, this mix of emotions that, you know, my taste buds fuck with in just the way I want them to fuck. It's very, very good. Uh, I, you know, it's not... I'm not blown away by it, but I'm certainly not disappointed. It's an expensive fucking treat, by the way. So, you know, everything taken into account, it's, it's definitely better than, than the last thing I bought from theirs. I'd give this a, a solid 8.3. It's, it's pretty damn good. And that's, that's about that. I'm going to eat the rest of this bitch, and I guess you'll have to return... To your stale lifestyle or, or whatever you've got going on.